Hello, my name's Dominic Boll. I'm a master electrician from southern Germany. Today I'm going to show you how to test photovoltaic and switching systems quickly and effectively using the thermal imager Test 0870. Here we can see a faulty module damaged by a stone. The stone damage isn't the problem with this module. Here we can see a defective cell, a so-called hotspot. The other cells have a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. This one shows 75 degrees Celsius. In this case, we're going to replace the whole module. Here I'm checking the module's connection socket. I can see in the image that everything's fine. We've now checked everything on the roof. We're now going to go down and check the power inverters. Here I'm testing the temperature of the power inverter and the connection cables. I can see in the image that everything's fine. Here I'm checking the sub-distributors. One of the power inverter's fuses is showing a temperature of over 60 degrees Celsius and needs to be watched. I'm now going upstairs to check the photovoltaic system's meter cabinet. Here I'm testing the connections to a contactor. They show 33 degrees Celsius, which is okay. The temperature of the main breakers is 35 degrees Celsius. Here too, everything's in order. We're now finished here. I'm now going to show you how you can test larger switching plants with the Testo 870. To do this, we're going to visit the company Hargo, an automotive parts supplier. Here, I'm checking the switching cabinet of Hargo's 800-ton press. We do this regularly in order to detect potential sources of malfunction. Here I'm testing a transformer which has a temperature of 65 degrees Celsius. The last time we measured it had the same temperature, so from that point of view everything's fine. Here I'm checking a contactor. This has a temperature of 53 degrees Celsius. That's okay as it's a uniphase connection, which causes the higher temperature. The motor contactor switch has a temperature of 56 degrees Celsius on the exit side, so we need to keep an eye on that. This contactor has a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. In this case, we recommend displacing the contactor so that it cools better. As you've seen, I can test switching and photovoltaic systems quickly and precisely with the Test 0870. That increases the efficiency of my work and my customer is happy.